The trick to simplifying a third is really knowing your square numbers. So the square numbers, 1, then 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25, and so on. Okay? It's very important that you know your square numbers. The first one there, 1, isn't going to really uh, be of any use to us, as you will see. So what we're going to be doing is using these numbers to simplify thirds. So an example of simplifying a third would be looking at the square root of 8. Now, we know that this is an irrational number um, because, because root 8, or 8 rather, isn't a perfect square. 8 isn't a square number. Okay? So what can we do to simplify it? Well, we can use a trick that will allow us to do this, whereby I can say, well, root 8 would be the same as looking at the square root of 4 times 2. Now, what I've identified here is I've looked for a square number, one in my list, that goes into 8. So, 4 goes into 8 twice. And then I can use a a technique that allows me to say, well, okay, well, if the square root of 4 times 2 is the square root of 8, then the square root of 4 times 2 is the same as the square root of 4 times the square root of 2. You can separate the square root symbol, the radical symbol, like so. And then we can say, well, the square root of 4 is just 2. So that's just two lots of root 2. And because uh, at this stage, we're starting to get to grips with how algebra should be presented. We don't really want to have to write that time symbol, so we're going to write 2 root 2. So the square root of 8 is the same as 2 root 2. Now, the trick that I used here is one that you really need to get used to. Okay? So that trick is this. The square root of a times b is the same as root a times root b. Okay? So if I had, for example, the square root of 3 times the square root of 2, then I could simplify that for myself and say, well, that's the same as the square root of 3 times 2, which is the square root of 6. So the square root of 3 times the square root of 2 is just the square root of 6. So we can use it backwards, or we could use it in the other direction, forwards. Okay? And that is how we can simplify a third. In the next video, I'm going to run through some examples.